Hey guys, Big Bubbo here. Hopefully you guys are having a good good day. I just want to talk to you guys really quickly about something I think needs to stop or change and maybe shine a light on an opportunity that is right in front of you that you might not know about or just taking for granted. So to begin, I'd like to address the Paladins versus Overwatch versus Battleborn War that is going on right now and how poorly it's being treated. First, I'd like to ask you guys, why do you guys think that people are so loyal to one of these three games? Please put one of your answers in the comment section below because I honestly have no idea. Because unless you're a big streamer or YouTuber, you're not getting anything for your loyalty. Except for one of these games, but I'll say more on that. There's literally no reason to choose one or the other. Now I know that you might like one more than this one or that one, but you don't stop playing one for the other just because you like one more. Just because one game is better in your opinion doesn't mean the other game now all of a sudden is sucks a bag of wrinkly old dicks. It just doesn't it just doesn't make sense to me. It just means you prefer that game. You don't have to choose one game from a genre for life. For instance, you would never choose one fantasy book, TV show, or, or, or movie just because, for no fucking reason. For just because. You would never do that, because if you did that, you would never know what you truly liked. Because you'd only be uh, shown one thing, and that doesn't help anybody. And it doesn't help you either. As a gamer, your loyalty is pointless. In most cases, as a gamer, is our duty... To say what we like and don't like because if we don't we'll never get what we want which leads me into our next topic what does it mean to be a beta tester and how much power do we hold it means everything to be a part of a true beta process like paladins the biggest thing here is you have to choose to let it mean something otherwise you're pissing away a good opportunity Paladins is in a true beta state, evolving dramatically with each patch. It is unlike other betas that are more of just just like demos. Open betas for games on the verge of release should just be called online demos because that's all they really are. They're a marketing scheme. They're a marketing scheme, excuse me, to get you to try the game, get hooked on the game, and buy the game. It's not an opportunity for you to choose the game. It's an opportunity for the game and the devs to reach into your pocket, grab your wallet, and spend some money. Now let's address how much power you hold. In an open beta right before release, you hold fucking no power. Nothing you do is going to change this game. All they're doing is they're using this to get you guys hooked on the game to buy it or to figure out the best way to market it so that eventually you do purchase it. In a beta process like Paladins, you hold a whole lot of power. As long as you put in some work, we can control a whole lot. This is where loyalty plays a huge part. And I don't mean loyalty like saying you're married to Paladins and you have no eyes for others because frankly that's fucking stupid. Play the games in the same genre, take ideas from them, find what you like and don't like, but in the process, play every patch of Paladins. Put your feedback in because in the end that's what a beta tester is. No game is 100% unique and creative. All games, all movies, all TV shows, all forms of entertainment take something from somewhere. Right now, as a Paladins beta tester, we have a unique opportunity to help mold the game we want to see. This isn't a 40 or $60 game, mind you. This is a free-to-play game. If you spend money on this game, you can bet that the money is going to the team that is working on this game, not towards leasing Lamborghinis, getting them all tricked out in different decals for the game, and, p and paying people to cosplay as characters in your game and be chauffeurs. Now that's cool and dandy, and I understand, wow, that's really cool, but that's where your money is going. And for me, I would rather see my money go towards the people who are creating the game and making it better rather than going to leasing Lamborghinis, as cool as Lamborghinis are. Are there going to be patches that you hate? Sure. Champions that come out or are buffed and become OP? Sure. But there are going to be patches you love. Not only do you have the chance to mold the game, but you have the amazing chance to choose your content creator. It really is up to us how this game develops and who represents it. For me, this is an amazing time. I've never had the opportunity as a beta tester to really affect a positive change on a game like I do with Paladins. 
And as a content creator on YouTube and Twitch, I haven't had the opportunity to grow with the game. Big streamers always get behind big games, usually sucking up the, the, the viewer base and not allowing the smaller streamers to, to grow, which isn't their fault. It's just the truth. It's just the way it is. It's just life. It makes it hard, not impossible, but hard for the little guy to work his way up. Right now, we as a community have the chance to build a game and the channels that will make this game big. This isn't like being a viewer on CSGO or League of Legends or any of the other top tiered stream games or, you know, video or, or made games for YouTube or having these clips, you know. As a viewer of Paladins, you're not just a number. You're a valued member of the community because here, your opinion is just as important as mine or anyone else's. Now, this might come off as pitchy, like I'm trying to get you to choose me. Choose me to be your streamer. Choose me to be your content creator. I would be lying if I said I didn't want that. But this video isn't to push you towards one YouTuber or streamer. This video is to show you that you have the choice that you probably have never had before. Do me a favor, think of a time you truly got to affect change in a community or in, in a game or a community. Now, if you have anything, put it in the comments below. I would love nothing more to see and hear about your guys' uh, adventures of being able to choose the game and choose the content creator because I honestly have never had that before. But thank you guys so much for watching and hearing me out on this. Hopefully you guys uh, uh, you know, understand what I'm saying. And hopefully I've, you know, kind of swayed you that you guys have a, a bigger part in this game and community than maybe what you guys thought you had before. But thank you guys so much again and until next time.